morning. We're coming to you from the city of Edinburgh, HEB Park right behind me, once known for pro soccer and the RGVFC Toros. Going forward, it will be known for a new team and a new sport. UTRGV officially announcing the Vaquero football program will call this site home. Going forward, it will be known as a UTRGV stadium. UTRGV now owns this beautiful stadium, and from this day moving forward, it will be the primary home for Vaqueros football. Chase Conk's declaration of music to the ears of UTRGV football coach Travis Bush. The university already breaking ground on a performance center for the football program. Bush has a full coaching staff in place. He says uh, finally having a stadium to call home bodes a well for his program. For us, it's the final piece. You know, it's the final piece of our facility puzzle now to say, you know what, every facility UTRG football has is not only going to be the best in the conference, but definitely one of the tops in, in Division I FCS. And that's going to continue to help us recruit top talent, not only out of the valley, but from, a, from way to the valley to get down here. And, uh, and like, like Chase said, have a, had a, a first-class Division I football program. The city of Edinburgh and the Edinburgh Economic Development Corporation are playing a big role in helping a UTRGV acquire the former home of the now defunct RGVFC uh, Toros. Ramiro Garza Jr., the city's mayor, says having the football program in Edinburgh will provide the city with a big uh, financial boost. How much are you talking about? Over 100 million in economic impact here to our city and to our region. Thank you, University of Texas Rogan Valley. Thank you to the entire community of Edinburgh for making this happen. The university plans on making changes to the stadium as it gears up for the Vaqueros inaugural season, which kicks off in the fall of 2025. And some things that we'll address quickly, uh, locker room space for both the Vaqueros, but also the visiting team, uh, making sure we have the appropriate accommodations for media and, uh, and also making sure that we've got the, the visiting coaches, home coaches uh, in the press box area and, uh, and then obviously address uh, the field. But we all know that it's a perfect stadium and uh, it's going to be able to provide some great amenities for our fans. Until then, uh, the Vaqueros can only dream of what game day will look like. And to see the smoke clouds, the tailgate going on, and the fans just fired up when the bus gets here. It's, it's truly, truly the, the perfect environment for college football, not just here uh, in the Rio Grande Valley, but, but anywhere in the nation. And, and we wouldn't want to be anywhere else. 